Namaste, everyone. Welcome, welcome to this yoga practice. This will be a 30 minutes of yoga practice in your back bend. Now, welcome to this yoga practice. It will be a 30 minute powerful yoga to practice from standing in mountain to coming into your back bend. It is a lot of work. Welcome to your practice, everyone. My name is Beth. For those of you that are new that are joining, please subscribe if you find value in this content. Let's come into kneeling on our heels. If this bothers you, please sit on easy pose and bring the hands in front of the heart. Notice your breath and allow yourself to set an intention. Subscribe again if you are liking and become part of the Om Green Wellness family. Let me know what you'd like to see in the next one. Let's come into our downward facing dog. All right, inhale, take the left leg all the way up. Notice your breath, bring that left leg in between the hand for your runners twist, left hand reach high. Allow yourself to connect and bring both hands to the mat. Straighten that left leg. Notice your breath bend and bring the right leg to it. Look forward, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Relax the head and shoulder. Inhale, reach the hands all the way up. Finding that breath, allow your body to open. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Take that left leg back. Inhale, runners twist on the right side. Right hand reach up. Take the left leg back, lengthen, open the chest, push into that left hand. Exhale, bring the right hand to frame the front foot, straighten the right leg, breathe in and out. Release and bend the right leg. Take the right leg back, downward facing dog. Adha Mukha Savasana. Inhale forward into your plank. Notice your breath. Roll over to the left side, stack or stagger, side plank. Breathe in and out and exhale, bring the right hand down and roll over to the right side, stack or stagger, side plank. Finding your breath again, shoulder away from the ears, exhale, left hand down. Roll forward into your Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing dog. Shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Inhale here, yeah, roll yourself into floating table, allowing yourself to keep your knee off the mat, really engaging your core. I want you to slide the right leg behind the left butt mode knee and take it into your back bend. So this is the variation that you might see where you just simply go into your back bend. Again, floating table. And then this time bring the left leg behind the right and the left hand is gonna stretch forward and lengthen the back body. Come back into the floating table and then exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Great job. Inhale and exhale. Relax the neck, shoulder, and take a breath in and press into your child's pose. Allowing yourself to really connect here, check in. So allowing your shoulders to relax. Let's set up for a headstand. Bring the hands on the mat. Bring the crown of the head on the mat. Tuck toes under. And then inhale, finding breath. Allowing yourself to bend the knee, coming back down. So I am recording a class and there is someone on the same court still wanting to chat. And you can see me trying it again. Okay, dolphin pose it is, my apologies. Finding length and coming back into plank. Finding your shoulder away from the ears. Exhale, press back, right, left leg all the way up, allowing your hip to open here. Breathe in and out, left leg down. Similarly, lift the right leg up, pulse it up in the air, 
releasing any tension at the back of the leg and bring the right leg in between the hand. Inhale, rise up, high lunge, crescent lunge, sink in, bend that right knee 90 degrees. Exhale, bring the hands to the mat. Inhale, lift the left leg up, halfway lift. You can keep the hands on the mat or you can bring the hands alongside the body. Left leg meets with the right, bend the knee, chair pose, Utkatasana. Try to bring those heels down. Lift the right knee towards the chest, igniting your breath, drawing the belly in. Bend the knee, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Relax the head. Look forward, lengthen. Plant the hands on the mat, step or jump back. Your vinyasa, chataranga dandasana. Upward facing dog. Look to the right and look to the left. Check in those shoulders and relax. Exhale, back to plank. Breathe here, downward facing dog. Great work. Really connecting. Inhale, float the same right leg up. Noticing your breath. Right leg in between the hand. Inhale, rise up. High lunge. Crescent lunge. Check in. Pushing in. Plant the hands on the mat. Straighten that right leg, push the left leg back, lengthen the spine. Bend the right leg, noticing your breath, noticing your shoulder, and then bring that left leg up. This time, hands come alongside the body, trying for that balance. Breathe in. Exhale, bring the left leg to meet with the right. Sit down, chair pose. Inhale, float the left knee towards the chest. Again, igniting your balances here. Left leg down, sit down, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Relax the head. Inhale, look forward, lengthen. Bend the knee, plant the hands alongside the feet, step or jump back, chaturanga. Upward facing, inhale. Exhale, press back, downward facing, great job. I want you to observe, left leg reach up, inhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Look through the left armpit, neck is long. Exhale, bring the left leg in between the hands. Spin and rise up, warrior two. Open your palms and smile. Five pointer star into your skandhasana. A great hip opener here, as well as a back opener. Come back, warrior two. Relax the shoulder. Exhale, bring the hands to the mat. Take the left leg back. Down, pressing back into your vinyasa. Upward facing and press back, downward facing. Feel free to skip Chaturanga Dandasana at any point in time. Right leg reach high. Bend knee, open the hip. Look through the right armpit. Lengthen the spine. Relax the shoulder. Exhale, bring that right leg in between the hand. Charge in, warrior two. Finding your breath, open palms, close palms. Inhale, rising up into your five-pointed star into Skandasana. Right leg straight, left leg bent. Inhale, back to warrior two. Right knee points forward, palm open and close. Relax the shoulder. Bring both hands to the mat. Look forward. Exhale, take the right leg back, plank. Yogi push up. Upward facing dog, top of the legs on the mat. Finding that breath, exhale, take it to child's pose. A lot of work here is important to be mindful. Press back into that plank measure. 
Breathe in, press back into your downward dog. Left leg reach high, inhale. Exhale, left leg in between the hand. Left hand reach up. Breath remains constant. Left hand frames the front foot, straighten the left leg. So important to really open the body. Charge in, airplane pose. Hands can be on the mat or block. Bring the right knee in towards the chest. Drawing that shoulder down, lifting the right knee, right leg down, chair pose. Inhale, exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, forward looking, bend knee, step or jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing, shoulders down. Exhale, press back. Downward facing, right leg up, right leg in between the hand, runner's twist, right hand floats high. Open, joy, enjoy this moment, right hand down, look forward, straighten that right leg. Such a great pose. Breathe in and breathe out. Bend the knee, left leg, lift. Hands come in front of the heart or mat, testing your balance all to the side. Yoga is a practice. Lengthen the spine and bring that left knee towards the chest effortlessly. Lengthen, breathe. Inhale, exhale, left leg meets with the right, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look forward, lengthen. Step or jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing, downward facing, Adha Mukha Savasana. Right leg reach high, bend knee, open the hip. Lengthen, flip the dog, right leg behind the left, while thin. Open the chest. Exhale, right hand down. Float the right leg up. Right leg in between the hand. Rise up, warrior two, once again. Relax the shoulder by opening and closing the palm. Five-pointer star into your skandhasana. Side lunge on the left knee. Left knee is bent, right leg straight. Inhale, come back, warrior two. Relax the shoulder, engage the tricep and bicep. Cartwheel the hands to the mat, look forward, straighten the right leg. Again, breathe in and breathe out. Bend the knee, rise back up, high lunge. Notice your breath. Exhale, hands to the mat. Left leg rise, airplane pose. Balancing poses. Draw the left knee towards the chest. Effortlessly point toes. Left leg meets with the right chair pose. Excellent work. Breathe in and rise up. And take a supported back bend. Open the heart. Lift the sternum. Exhale, look forward. Bended knee. We're warming up the back for that back bend, so it's important to take your time. Look forward, lengthen, step or jump back, vinyasa flow, chaturanga dandasana, upward facing, downward facing dog. All right, you know the drill, left leg reach high, bend the knee, open the hip. Try to open that front hip, the quads, flip the dog if you have it and take the left hand forward. Again, we are going into wheel, that's the objective of this class. Allowing yourself to lengthen, left hand comes down, left leg reach high, extend, bring the left leg in between the hand, rise, warrior two, inhale. Shoulders are relaxed, finding that breath, inhalation, five-pointed star, Bend the left and come in for your skandhasana on the right. 
bend the right, straighten, uh, and come back to warrior two. Exhale, cartwheel the hands to the mat, runner's twist, left hand reach high, open. Breathe in. Exhale, bring both hands to the mat, look forward, lengthen, straighten the left leg, relax the shoulder, bend the knee, charge in, and lift the right leg up, coming into that airplane pose. You can choose to keep the hands on the floor beside you, and then begin to hug that right knee towards the chest. Hands reach up, lengthen, Exhale the right leg down, bend the knee, chair pose, hands to your lower back, another supported back bend. So this might be where you are today. You might take it farther. Bend the knee, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look forward, lengthen. Step or jump back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing. Downward facing. Inhale here. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, gaze between the hands, step or jump forward. Look forward, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the hands all the way up, mountain pose. Exhale, interlace the hand, lengthen the spine, open the chest, head back if you can. Exhale, forward fold. Drawing that knuckles forward, lengthening the back of the neck, release any tension on the back. Inhale, coming back up. Keep the eyes open, hands reach up. Lean towards your right, half moon. Left hand reach towards the right. Inhale, come back in. Left hand, right hand reach across towards the left, open the side body. Inhale, come back to center. Inhale, reach the hands all the way up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Catch the hands behind the calf, fold deeply if you can. Inhale, reach the hands all the way up. Exhale, supported back bend once again. Opening the back body, Preparing for our wheel pose. Again, noticing how you feel. Allowing yourself to go within. Exhale, come down, forward fold, counter pose. Inhale, walk your hands to the right side. And then walk your hands to the left side. Inhale, finding breath. Bend the knee, chair pose, Utkatasana. Tuck the tailbone under. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Catch the hands behind the knee. Fold forward completely. Straighten the legs. Inhale. Reach the hands all the way up. Exhale, supported back bend. So open, head back, heels down, and then start to reach the hands all the way to the back. Feel the pose without your supported back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Very challenging pose. Right leg back, runner's twist, left hand reach up. Find that length. Left leg meets back behind the right one while thin. So check in the difference between the standing and the wild thing. Left hand down, left leg into the hand runner's twist. Left hand down, frame the front foot, straighten that left leg. Lengthen, bend the knee, right leg lift into that airplane pose. You can use a block on the hands. Right leg meets with the left. Bend the knee, chair pose. Notice your breath. Inhale, rise up. Hands to your lower back, supported back bend. You start to feel a little bit limber. And then reach the hands overhead. An option to go down if you can. If not, 
come down, forward fold. Let it go. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, forward look in. Exhale, step the left leg back. Runner's twist. Reach the right hand up. Open the heart. It's important to allow yourself to release right leg behind the left while thin. Open the front hip, the chest. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, right leg comes to the left hand. Runner's twist, open the heart. Exhale, frame the front foot. Inhale, forward look in. Exhale, straighten that right leg and fold deeply. Breathe in. Bend the knee and then lift the left leg up and come into airplane pose here. Allow your body to adjust and then bring that left knee towards the chest. Hands reach up, lengthen, left leg down, chair pose, standing upright. Inhale, take the twist, right hand back, left hand forward, look towards the back. Right hand comes to meet with the left, left hand does the same thing, left hand back and come back to center. Reach up, lengthen, supported back bend. Again, legs are hip distance apart and maybe an option to reach the hands all the way back, fall back if you can, wheel pose. So this is the first time if you're able to come down, allow yourself to enjoy. Maybe you can try to come up. If you're not able to come up, I want you to lay yourself down on the mat, but try to see whether you can come up. So I try a couple of times. Remember, it's practice, and I want you now to come down on the mat and just let your back touch the mat. A lot of work on the back muscles. Hug your right knee in, finding that back muscles touching the mat, left knee in, right leg straight. Breathe in and breathe out. Hug your right knee once more, left leg straight, releasing any tension on the lower back. Left knee in, second time, breath in and out. Right leg in, left leg straight, left in, left leg in, right leg straight. Make sure you're breathing in and out and hug both knee in. Now press in towards your ears with your hands, elbow bent, pointing to the sky, knees bent, arch the back, head on the mat, and then come into wheel pose. So check in, yeah? Then inhale, charge in, and see whether you can bring yourself up to standing. So a bit challenging, hands reach up, exhale, forward fold. If you're not able to do this, remember you can always come back to this video and watch it again. Left leg back, right leg back, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll yourself forward into plank. Lower your knee, chest and chin. Finding that breath, releasing any tension. Coming into upward facing dog. Finding that lower back. Press back, downward facing dog. Inhale here, yeah, take the left leg up. Exhale, bring the left leg in between the hand. Inhale, lift on up, half moon. Right hand reach up, focusing your gaze on something that is not moving. Right leg meets with the left, chair pose. Ukatasana. Inhale, taking the back bend once again, hands supporting the lower back. Look forward, finding that breath, exhale, fold, counter pose. Only listen to your body, do what feels comfortable. Hands reach up, lengthen, 
breathe in and breathe out all right reaching back again supported or unsupported will pose yoga practice is making progress never force a pose now charge in see whether you can come up here inhale make your way at your own time so rocking and coming up to standing this is the third time for me and forward fold look forward lengthen right leg and left leg back downward facing breathe in and out breathe in in your downward dog checking in how are you feeling when you're ready float the right leg up lengthen the spine bend the knee open the hip left leg up bend the knee open the hip feel the quads and notice your breath right leg in between the hand half moon on this side take the left hand to the sky activate that left foot and then bring the left leg to meet with the right bend the knee chair pose body is still upright and take the twist to the left left hand back right hand forward left hand right hand back allowing your shoulders to come lengthen the spine take a slightly back bend exhale forward fold give thanks Noticing all the work you're doing here. And then bend the knee, open the hip, come into Malasana, Asian squat. Sit your bumsy on the mat and come into tabletop. Look forward, squeezing those hip to the sky and push into your thumb and index finger. Lower your hip, inhale, lift the legs, Navasana, boat pose. Notice your breath, lower half boat. Again, let your back contact the earth. Noticing any tension, inhale, come up into your boat pose. The struggle is real. Breathe in and breathe out. Low boat, high boat. Again, release on the mat. Touch the heels and come up into bridge pose a couple of times. Noticing your hip, making sure there's range of movement there. And start to slow it down. Lower back making contact with the mat. Pressing and squeezing those hip on the top. Inhalation and exhalation. All right, when you have it, lower down. Hug your knee into your chest and come into happy baby. Now, if you're liking this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Noticing all the work that goes into this movement. Now we're gonna try again to come into wheel just from the mat. Take your time. If you have a wheel practice, be playful here. Lifting the left hand and lifting the right hand, releasing any fear, and then lower the left hand. Coming back down, and then bring the sole of the feet together, Sutta Bodhi Kanasana, rest. Take silence, begin to release everywhere. Relax the inner groin and the hip. Relax the legs, the toes, the belly and the chest, the facial muscles, the ears and the eyes. Allow the lips to relax and go within. Return back to your normal breathing observing and breathing in and out.
This is the most important aspect of the class. Feel free to stay long and, and slowly bring yourself to the right side and press yourself to seated, come into easy pose or full lotus. Hands reach up and take the twist to the right side. Look towards the back of the class or your mat. Inhale, reach the hands all the way up and twist to the left side, drawing the shoulders and lengthening across the back body. Hands reach up, lengthen, bring the hands in front of the heart. May I continue to be kind to myself and kind to others, surrendering to your heart center, to your heart desires sending you peace love and happiness namaste guys thank you so much thank you for joining me in this practice subscribe like and i will see all of you in the next one let me know how you get on peace be well namaste